Hey, what's happening everybody? I'm Charles Maring and today I want to share with you a very quick tutorial on how I'm exporting beautiful high resolution stills from my 4K video using Final Cut Pro X. But first, let's roll that intro. <laughs> My wife Jennifer and I make the majority of our living as still photographers for the past 20 plus years and we photograph everyday people, celebrities and even presidents at weddings, events and commercial assignments all over the world. And with that said, we are finding ourselves hired these days just as much for video as we are for still photography. But the two overlap so beautifully at our studio because my wife a lot of times will photograph the stills and take on that side of things. I will go in capturing 4K video of an entire event and then we meet in the middle to kind of deliver on our promise and to give clients more. We love working this way because we can be so unobtrusive, just a team of two, sometimes three or four if it's a big lavish event that has a lot of logistics. But I want to talk today about how we deliver on things and show you just how beautiful these moments can be off of our Lumix cameras in 4K video. Let's jump over to the computer. So I spend so much of my life here editing videos at this computer, it's crazy. Uh, and I'm at, right now I'm in the middle of a wedding project. We photographed a wedding for uh, Star Jones and Ricardo Lugo on a cruise ship uh, for seven days recently. My wife focused on the stills, I focused on the video. Let's dive into Final Cut and show you what we're doing here. So I'm in Final Cut and what I'm looking to do, because I've already delivered her stills and I'm about to deliver her wedding videos, is I want to go through the video and start to export some magic moments and some beautiful angles that Jennifer did, did not have, but that are certainly available to us. So you can see here stars coming up from the ground here, beautiful moment. All I need to do is scrub the video to the moment that I want to export and we'll just take it from there. I want to at least capture that. So I'm going to go up here to the upper right and wherever the playhead is, that's where it's going to save that current frame. And so here we go. I'm just going to go save current frame. And now it's going to go into uh, a JPEG because we have it set up that way. We could also do a TIFF, but it's at 38, 40, 21, 60, full blown 4K. Going to go next. Now I got to save, find a place to start saving these. I'll just throw it in video edits create a new folder cinema moments and I'll need to name it as well. We'll just name it number one because it's the first time of my exports here. Hit save. Now let's open this in Photoshop as well so that you can see just how beautiful these stills are. Video edits, we're already there. Cinema moments, open this in Photoshop. Boom. I hit the F key to go full screen and we'll just zoom right in. But see, this is a beautiful moment. And one of the cool parts about the two of us shooting this way is you can see my wife on the far right on her Lumix GH5. You see me over here on a gimbal GH5S. I'll work the event on a gimbal the entire time. But what I'll do is I will preset three or four different tripods throughout the room, which allows me to just kind of walk around, capture some moments in motion, but also check each of those cameras, make adjustments and capture so many different angles throughout the ceremony. And it's just so beautiful that now, not only are we capturing stills from Jennifer's perspective, but I can actually go in and save all of these beautiful angles as well. And it get, allows us to give more to our clients and make their album beautiful. Now let's talk about the resolution of this. In fact, we can look at the image size here. Uh, this is coming in as a 23.7 uh, megapixel <laughs> image here. That is plenty of resolution to print any size I could possibly want to. Let's talk resolution real quick. Uh, now, we always talk about these cameras that can do 20 megapixels, 24 megapixels, 30, 50, 100 megapixel cameras these days, but resolution isn't everything. And truth be told, if we look back here, I think I can even show it to you, the uh, 40 by 60 that you see behind me here was actually captured many, many years ago on an 8 megapixel camera that didn't have nearly the clarity and cleanliness of the files that we're seeing coming off of these Lumix cameras these days. So with that said, I don't worry about that. I can print any size print in their albums right from the video and it still be absolutely beautiful. So 
this is how we're doing it. This is how we're covering our bases and doing so much more for our clients. Not only can we deliver a gorgeous film for their enjoyment and for their friends and family, but we can deliver beautiful stills and combine the two to make it even grander and even better for them. So that's my quick tutorial today, Final Cut Pro 4K video, how to get high resolution stills and how to use them effectively. I appreciate you everybody, have a great one.